Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well, thank you once again for joining me here on another One Piece Five Ways actually. I was going to do kind of how to wear a leather jacket or biker jacket and then I decided to make it into a One Piece Five Ways because they're quite succinct in showing you all the different ways and the versatility of the piece. So I'm going to kind of combine the two of it tips on how to wear it, but also in the usual format of the One Piece Five Ways. So the jacket in question is actually a new in for me. Um, it's from Jane and Tash. They sent this over, um, which was very generous of them. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful leather jacket and I've actually been eyeing this. I've kind of had a few saved in my tabs because the leather jacket I have is from Zara, it's several years old and I just feel like there's a bit too much going on with it. I feel like there's quite a lot of silvery and zips, like more than this, I think there's some here and I just feel like it's maybe a little bit too much. So I've kind of had my eye on um, a different version um, that's maybe a little bit simpler, maybe a little bit oversized, but still quite a classic um, traditional style of biker jacket because they always come back in year after year and I think particularly this year we will be seeing a lot more of kind of the leather jacket around in general. So I was absolutely delighted when Jane and Tash sent this over um, because it's such a good one. They are a beautiful brand. Um, I have their brown um, other style of leather jacket which you'll have seen me. I've had that for several years now and I wear it all seasons actually. It's really useful in the summer and it's really useful in the winter too. So um, I definitely recommend uh, going to check them out. I'll leave the link in the description box because they've got some really, really good pieces. I think this is the smallest size, which is the extra small to small, but I'll link the exact one below, but it's just a really good version. Um, anyway, that said, let's get into outfit number one and how I'd style it. <laughs> So I wanted to do a dress down look and I also wanted to cover a variety of things from skirts, trousers, dresses, that kind of thing. So my first look is this knitted dress from Almada. This is such a nice one for this time of year. There's a little bit of a chill in the air, but in spring we don't necessarily want really wintry pieces. So I like this lighter weight, long loose dress. I think it kind of ticks a lot of in between boxes, especially in this English weather we have. Um, like a lightweight dress isn't always what you want, but you also don't want something feeling too wintry. So I think this is a really nice hybrid of them both. And I could see this looking so good with sandals as well. Anyway, I've gone here for the trainers with it just to kind of in keep with the look of a mild spring day. Um, added the jacket with it too. And then this crossbody bag from our cat, just a really nice casual piece. Um, just to show that you can still do casual in a way that feels quite pulled together and stylish at the same time. And then I've just finished off with my YSL sunglasses just to tie in the blacks together. We've not got too much going on here. It's quite monochromatic. And I think with a leather jacket, it kind of speaks for itself. I don't think you need to go too fussy with the rest of your outfit. I think you can keep it quite simple, but I really do think there's so many things and pieces that a leather jacket will go over. And I just feel like it instantly creates that cool dress down element to the look. So outfit number two, let's talk about how to wear it for the spring. If you feel like maybe pairing it with black is a little bit dark, you don't want to go down that route, then kind of do the opposite. So go for an all light look. It actually works really nicely with white denim and I've just paired it with a simple white t-shirt here. You know, like I said, you don't need to go too over the top with this. The denim keeps you pretty warm in the spring, um, but it just gives the outfit a lift and gives the biker jacket a lift too. I've also paired it with my tan sandals. Again, tan is a color that will instantly take your pieces into the spring. So um, if you are thinking about what can I do with black, I would always suggest putting it with shades like white and tan to really lift it up. I finished off with my Loewe bag, which has the tan and black in it, bringing in the black from the leather jacket. I don't think you have to do that because I think the leather jacket can kind of stand by itself with these lighter colors. Um, I think it works quite nicely. And like I said, just gives it this cool edge. This is just a really nice, easy daytime look. You can throw this on, but I think with it being that all lighter look uh, underneath, it just feels a little bit more spring-like and fashion forward. 
So for outfit number three, I do always try and do a more workwear inspired look within these one piece five ways videos. That said, I don't think a leather jacket a biker jacket like this really lends itself so well to um, workwear as such. Obviously this is so dependent on where you work though. Um, a lot of people I know work in more creative industries, dress down industries, um, they still want to look like they've made an effort. So I think this is a really nice way to do it. I've got this skirt and shirt, both from AMR London. Really, really, really beautiful pieces. And again, this is quite a spring-like outfit underneath. And I love the combination of the shirts with the leather jacket and then the lighter bottom. And then I've just paired it with some loafers. Again, trying to keep the rest of the outfit a little bit more formal and uh, put together if you are thinking about a little bit more of a workwear or smarter look. C try and keep your other pieces more formal and then finish off with the jacket just to give it again that laid back look. But it still feels pulled together. This doesn't in any way feel really, really casual. So I think, you know, if you are in a slightly more dressed down environment for work, this would be a really nice one. And again, if you're thinking about longevity and getting the most out of your piece, leather jackets are quite an investment, especially real leather jackets. Um, they can be quite pricey, so of course you want to get as much wear out of them as possible. And I think the beauty of them is that you can actually get a lot of wear out of them. I would personally wear mine in the evening as well to dress down a look. You could go for something like these wide leg black trousers I've got on simple tank top and this is where your basics come in and playing around with your basics dressing them up dressing them down um you can pop some heels on some nice jewelry and then put the biker jacket over the top i would say um i think this kind of style of biker lends itself quite nicely to kind of chunky silver jewelry especially with the silver accents some chunky silver hoops chunky silver necklace that kind of thing but that said, I think you can kind of play around with it with your other pieces as well. So definitely in the evening, but also I've had a few white trousers. I would have gone for some white trousers with this as well to show you a bit more of a spring-like look. But because I'd used some other white bottoms within the video, I wanted to go for the black trousers. Again, just to demonstrate a bit more versatility, but any kind of color of trousers, a nice wide leg would look great with this. A satin slip skirt would also work really nicely for evening too. My final outfit, another kind of hybrid between smart casual daytime and I think that's what the leather jacket does so well from Almada. You could go for any kind of knit though. If you wanted to do more of a t-shirt look, you could do that. I just like the slouchy knit. If it's still a bit cool where you are, but you want to feel spring-like, I think this is a really good way of doing that. So if you go for a knit to add the warmth and your leather jacket, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a coat then. And then go for something a little bit lighter on the bottom like I've done with these old Reese trousers, I'll try and link something similar below, but something maybe satiny or just something like loose. Again, with that lighter color really brightens the outfit and brings it right into spring. Add some trainers again, keep your feet warm, but if you wanted to kind of play around, you could do this exact look, um, but swapping for some sandals and a t-shirt if it's warmer where you are or a tank top, and that would make a really nice look as well. But this is how I would do it for those cooler spring days. So I hope that's been useful for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the leather jacket looks. So you'll be seeing this leather jacket uh, styled on me a lot. Um, I'm going to be wearing this on repeat, I think, through this season. It's nice and warm without feeling too heavy, um, which I like. It just feels really, really good quality. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and creating some more looks with this. This top, by the way, is from Pretty Lavish. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment of what you'd like to see next from One Piece Five Ways, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.